What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can host your own Minecraft server and let Java Edition clients connect, which are the normal Minecraft players, and let Windows 10, Xbox, PlayStation, as well as mobile players all using the Bedrock version of Minecraft also connect and play simultaneously, allowing cross-play between Java and Minecraft Bedrock Edition clients. You may think that this is absolutely impossible, but as long as you're hosting the server yourself to some capacity, this is possible with the use of some nifty plugins. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a Minecraft server that I host on my own PC. This is Spigot 1.16.2. If you'd like to see how to set up the server, port forward and the rest, make sure to check the description down below for a tutorial on this. Assuming you're paying someone else to host the server, as long as you are able to open port 19132, which is the Bedrock Edition port, then players should be able to connect to it, otherwise you'll have to find another way around and use a different port. But anyway, as long as you have access to port forward and open the firewall to some capacity, this should be possible. So with all that aside, assuming that you have a working spigot server, craft bucket server, or the rest, we're going to go through setting it up and getting it to work in this video. So if I were to run the server as is, it'll simply load up as it usually does, and we can connect using any Minecraft Java Edition client. This one over here is set to connect to localhost. If I double click on it, I'll join the server and things will work as expected. So let's begin by installing the plugins that we need. I'll start by stopping the server and closing out of the command prompt window. Head across to the first link in the description down below, which will take you to geysermc.org. This is the plugin that we're going to be utilizing, as well as another plugin from this developer. Scrolling down, we'll get some info on how it works. Basically, it works as middleware. It provides a proxy that allows Bedrock Edition clients to connect through Geyser to an official Minecraft Java Edition server. While I have heard that you can use this to connect to other Minecraft Edition servers, as long as you have an official Java account as well, you can use it as a proxy and somehow connect to this program and then connect to a foreign server somewhere else, say HiveMC, for example. But this video in particular is going to focus on setting up your own Minecraft server with this plugin installed so anyone anywhere in the world with Minecraft Bedrock Edition can connect to your Java Edition server that you're hosting on your PC. So with all that explanation aside, heading across to this link, simply click download at the very top over here. That'll take us to the Jenkins build server. This standalone geyser.jar over here is the one that we can use to connect to other foreign servers, but because I'm hosting the server myself, I'll be downloading geyserspigot.jar, which is the plugin version of this project. I'll click keep, and I'll simply drag and drop it out of Chrome into the plugins folder in my Minecraft server directory. I've of course downloaded this before, so I'll get rid of the one after it. Then before we get too excited about things, there's a couple of things that we need to do. We need to go back and run the server at least once so it can generate some files. After it's done loading completely, we'll type stop and close out of it. There we go. Now that the server's running, I'll simply type in stop, enter, and then press any key to continue. Heading into the plugins folder, as you can see, it's generated some config. Now, before we get into editing the config, there's something we need to understand. This is a Java Edition server that only works with registered Java Edition clients. If we were to connect through a Bedrock client, we're not going to have a proper UUID, etc, etc, and we won't be able to connect or play on the server. Don't worry, the developers of this plugin have thought of a way around that. The first way is to either open up server.properties with Notepad, scroll down to the bottom, and turn online mode to be false. However, this allows anyone to use a modded client, connect to your server, and pretend to be quite literally anyone. Instead of changing this to false, I'll leave it as true, so only verified Java Edition clients can connect to the server. But then you're thinking, how exactly does a Minecraft Bedrock Edition client connect to the server and play properly? Well, we need another plugin. So, opening up the plugins folder once again, clicking the next link in the description down below will take you to Floodgate, which is another plugin that Geyser MC have created. All we need to do is click this download button over here, and we'll be taken to another Jenkins build web page. Simply click on Floodgate Bucket if you're running a Craft Bucket, a Spigot, etc. server, and not one of these down here. I'll click Keep, and again, I'll drag and drop it out into the plugins folder over here, and I'll remove the one right before .jar. Then all we need to do is go back a folder and run the server once again. We'll wait for it to load up completely and once again we'll be typing stop and closing it when it's done. Basically, this Floodgate plugin allows Bedrock Edition clients to connect and play on the server. There we go. Stop. And we'll close it. Cool. 
So on opening up the plugins folder once again, we now have floodgate bucket. Open up this folder and we'll find public key.pem. Simply copy this file, head back a folder and open up the geyser spigot folder over here. Paste it in. Then we'll be opening up config.yml inside of the same folder and we'll see some settings for the geyser plugin. Over here we have bedrock settings. Of course, if you'd like to set an MOTD for the bedrock edition of the server, set them here and a server name here. I'll of course change it to troubleshoot. And for the MOTD, I'll have troubleshoot a sample Java bedrock server. There we go. This of course is only optional, but what we need is under the remote section over here, scrolling down, we're looking for auth type online. We'll be changing this to auth type floodgate. Paste it in, save the file and close it. Then we'll head back to folders and this time we'll run the server again. However, once it's done loading, we won't close out of it as we set up everything to work properly. I'll move this across to the side over here and I'll open up my Java edition client. I'll go back and as you can see, this is just a local host server connecting to it. We're loading in and things are working as expected. We'll be able to fly around and interact with Minecraft as normal. There we have it. Now I'll simply pause the game and I'll head across to the Windows 10 Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. I'll hit play, servers, scroll down to the very bottom and click add server. Then call it whatever you want. I'll just call it local. And in the server address, type in the IP address of this Minecraft server over here. I, of course, am running it on the same computer, so I can either use localhost or 127.0.0.1. Of course, if you're running this on a computer next to you on the same local network, it'll probably be 192.168.1.10, for example. Or if you're connecting to it over the internet, it may be something completely different. As long as the port inside of plugins, geyser spigot, config, under the bedrock section is open and port forwarded to the server, things will work as expected. By default, it's a 19132. Of course, because I'm on the same computer as the server, I don't need to port forward at all. If you're struggling to understand what exactly that means, well, Minecraft servers are usually 25565. You'll need this port forwarded if you'd like Java edition clients to connect and 19132 port forwarded as well if you'd like bedrock edition clients to connect. Simple. So with that aside, I'll type in local host, save. And if I scroll down, click on it, you can see the MOTD is showing troubleshoot. Then I'll click join server. And we'll see some more stuff in the console over here. We're currently connecting and we're in the server as you might expect. Here's me on my main account. I'll simply pull it across to the side so you can see what's happening. On the left hand side is Java edition. And on the right hand side is Windows 10 edition. There we have it. Things are working as you might expect. My name's got a star next to it simply because we're connected through this bedrock plugin. But if I type on this account on the Java edition, things work as normal. There are of course some settings that we can use. If I open up the console over here and type in geyser help or slash geyser help in the in-game console, you'll see some commands that we can use. Usually you won't use any of these, but of course we can reload the geyser server, shut down the geyser server, but keep the Java edition running, etc, etc. The main useful thing that we'll be using is geyser list. I'll simply type in that command and you can see who is connected. Techno7708, which is my Minecraft Windows 10 edition over here. Cool. So things are working as expected. As long as you have those two ports forwarded, you can host your own server successfully and have Xbox players, Windows 10 Bedrock Edition players, PlayStation, as well as mobile players join your Minecraft server and play as per normal. Of course, there are a couple of caveats, but they are mainly unnoticeable for normal players. If we head across to the Geyser MC GitHub page and scroll down, we'll see what's left to be added. These over here. And if we head across to the wiki section at the very top, down to FAQ, you'll get some info that you might find useful or necessary. And if we head across to common issues, we'll find some info over here on fixing things that may happen. These of course are incredibly useful resources if you're having issues with players connecting or the server running in the first place. To get to this wiki, simply head across to the Geyser MC GitHub page and then click wiki at the very top over here. But anyways, that's about as far as I'll go with this tutorial to keep the video nice and short and simple. As long as those two ports are forwarded, you and your friends can play cross-platform between the Java edition and the Bedrock edition. If you'd like to see more on the Geyser MC plugin, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, 
that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technober here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.